We all had those action figures growing up, right? Yeah, I had a cowboy and Indian and G.I. Joe. This should have been my parents' first clue. Gay man, half the village people in my closet. But I admit I'm a bad gay. I mean, obviously, I didn't get the fashion gene. No, the only thing I know about men's fashion is you can tell how old a guy is by where he wears his pants. When they're in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. You notice I just lied about my age? <laughs> so as an older gay man, I do have to, I, I have to explain something. I feel I have to kind of explain something about the 70s. See, the 70s was right after Stonewall, and so my gay forefathers were building gay culture, gay restaurants, newspapers, all that kind of thing, which meant they left the design industries in the hands of straight people. <laughs> and I will never forgive you for the fuzzy wallpaper in my parents' dining room. <laughs> but the straight folks got us back because they found the one drug that no gay man can resist. 30 seconds exposure to this drug turns the butchest Leatherman into just a flaming queen. This gay kryptonite I'm talking about, of course, is disco. <laughs> but, you know, as we do, we turn that beat around. Because we made disco teach us important life lessons. Like, I will survive. And we are family. And you can pick up gay guys at the YMCA. Oh. I used to have a t-shirt that said, so many men, so little time. Yeah, it's faded now. It says, so many little men. And I mean, I know I'm an old timer. I don't get the modern, the modern leather relationships. Like, this is my husband. This is his cub. This is our dog. Uh, this is our pup, and this is our dog. Um, my relationship's much simpler than that. I've been with my husband for 27 years. Thank you. That's um, 54 in straight years. Um, I, Put another way, it's as long as Cher has been doing farewell tours. <laughs> now we've done, we've done a lot in that time. We've gone uh, scuba diving, gay men going down, you know. Um, we've gone gay square dancing, which I guess is kind of redundant. Um, we went, recently went to the shooting range. I know this is the NRA's worst nightmare, hashtag gays with guns. Charlie's <laughs> Angels Post. <laughs> But you do those things over the years, and I realize I'm never going to leave this man. I found out he's a way better shot than me. <laughs> but we still have disconnects. We were climbing into bed one night, and I said, honey, I took a Viagra. <laughs> and he said, honey, I took an Ambien. <laughs> I'm Steve Heil. Thank you. <laughs>